two seals. Those all look very familiar. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me if I've learned them, so... I'm just gonna have to memorize it. Wait. Why, game? Why you gotta be this way? Why you have to suck? Anyway. I still don't know how to get Romeo's missing techniques, but whatever. Yep, not a whole lot to say. We're just gonna make our way over. Can you do this? Ah, I really wish we had Super Dash. Wind platform. Okay. <sighs> oh, I think I have some key here. Here we are, so I can warp to close to where E Ping is. I'm not gonna save too much, there's kinda no point. The minute you know which elder is which because of what they have outside, and as you can see, it's wine all the time. Wow, Xiao Yao, you drink way too much, man. Or E Ping is what we call it nowadays. What you do? Uh, like E Ping says, like, what are you doing? My God, I want to go to Miao Jiang to see the master. Do you have any words to bring to the master? Xiao Man says, Grandpa, I want to. Grandpa, I want to go back to Miao Jiang to see the master. Let's see. Is there anything you'd like to tell her? Or sorry, no. What is it? Is there any message you'd like me to pass on to her? You want to go back? Oh. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Yi Ping says, ah, "That's oh, that's good. You must be <coughs> be careful on your journey." Um. <coughs> Let's see. What's the best way to put this? Um. In Chinese, when we say like "dai wo wen shi fu," let's see, it's more like um, in Chinese it literally means like, "Please ask if your shi fu is okay in my stead." But that sounds very weird in English because we don't usually think of that way. It's more like, I guess it's like, "Please." <clears throat> it's more in this case. It's more like what it implies that you're just greeting someone. Um, on behalf of another person. So, like, if someone sends you, yeah, exactly, say hello to her for me. And I'm just explaining why, in case someone doesn't know why this is saying about, like, why would someone ask how is someone doing from as a message? But in Chinese, that's fairly normal. But it means just say hello to her for me. Like, please say hello to her for me. 小马 says like, "Do you really have nothing else to say other than saying hello? Come on, say some more. Uh, say a sentence or two more." Ouch. Yi Ping says, "Let's see." <laughs> Yi Ping says like. 
If there was something I wanted to say, of course I would have written to a letter to her myself. I don't need you to worry about that. Let's see. Let's see. The four of you want to go together, right? I just, I just knew. There's not a day where you can stand, <laughs> where you can keep still. Let's see. Chama says, "Ah, oh, I've all, I've already been." <laughs> Or like fine scene. This is like, I've been already, eh, ready, re not repenting about it, but it's like fine scene. This is like, I've already been thinking, thinking of, well about what, what we did. Please, uh, don't be angry. Yeah. So, it's like, 你要好好反省 So you'll hear that a lot from like, <laughs> oftentimes it's parents that are the ones to say that. But you can hear like, that when someone tells you, hey, you need to really think about what you did. That's the word fan xing. Just letting you know. 是啊，师傅，弟子这次下山一定留个心眼儿，选他最好的酒回来孝敬您。Yep, I know we have to basically butter him up, eh? And yeah, 留个心眼 Thank you. Yeah, you raise it. Let's see. Yun Fan said, "Right, 师傅 This time, <coughs> this time when we go down the mountain, I'll definitely keep my eyes open and pick <coughs> and pick a jar of the best wine to give back in order to <coughs> in order to." To show my, show my devotion to you. I know it's kind of weird. Like this is the word for filial piety. So like, so in it's on like it's like honoring someone. Like it's like it's sort of like if you were are know of the Christian religion about the Ten Commandments. Like or I guess it's the Jewish religion too. Like honor your father and mother. It's kind of like something similar to that. In Chinese, in Chinese culture, you definitely better. Hey, you res respect your your mom and dad, or honor them, or show filial piety to them. That's the English word that we've come up with in the West. So you just say like. Oh, yeah, if you really want to honor me, you'll just stop. <laughs> stop. You'll stop creating chaos for me. Now hurry and go. Fortunately, he was understanding. Ouch! Shama said, "Huh? It's always like this every time." What? She says, "Huh? About that." Is talking about the Yiping and the Sea Lady. You are talking. You are talking about that. You're talking about that matter between Shi Bo Yiping and Mrs. Hai Tang. Yeah, you see, I see my master. He just looks like he's just been out of work. Right. Xiao Man says, "Like right. Every time I see you all saw. Every time I bring up." Shifu, he always has. <laughs> Grandpa always has this guilty look on his face. Ah, <sighs> well, Shifu hasn't even gotten married to any, hasn't, isn't married to anyone, and Grandpa has been all by himself for so many years. Just what's the meaning of all of that? I mean, you guys understand what she's suddenly pointing to, right? It's like, why don't they get together? Jeez. You say, your husband likes your Shifu. Yun Fan says, "Like, so you're saying that your grandpa likes your Shi Fu?" I know, Ba Ba the is like weak, <laughs> weakly. Yeah, I know. It just means like that's pussy for. It's like, you know, there's a word called pussy footing. That's a very like American slang, but that just means to be like not being assertive, assertively, confidently doing something. It's sort of like you're just kind of dip, trying to tiptoe around things. So anyway, Xiao Man say, "Huh? Well, who knows? If that, it'd be fine. It'd be great if that were the case." 
clearly he himself knows how to fly on his sword, but yet he ha he hasn't been willing to go to Miao Chiang, Miao Chiang a single time for all these many years. Let's see. And every time he has some something to say, he still he just weakly right. <sighs> He just kind of, he just cowardly asks, uh, asks someone to take a message, a letter he's written. Oh, I just can't stand. <laughs> no, that's thing. He's just so indirect. Oh, that's true. I hadn't thought about this, that angle. Yun Fan says like, so the love goo that you were trying to refine it was for the sake of your Shifu. Oh, so what? You wanted her to be them to fall her to fall in love with or like sorry. She wanted her to give to Grandpa to fall in love with to so they would fall in love with each other? Ah, uh, I guess. I don't know, that seems anyway. I don't know, Shaba, you shouldn't have- I don't think if that was a good idea to interfere with these kind of things, but that's just me. Shaba says like, hmm, even though Sifu has never brought it up before, but I know. Oh, thanks game for not telling me anything. Sure. Loyo says like, is there any reason that they ha absolutely have to be together? Is it, isn't it fine for them to not see each other like the way it is right now? <laughs> oh, oh, ouch! <laughs> yes, uh, it means like... It, I like how that word just means like leave. Yes, it leaves, leaving your love all everywhere. Uh, but it just means let's say, huh? What would a playboy like you? <laughs> what of a perverted playboy like you know? Let's see. You weren't in the demon realm for a few days, and you were already offended, <laughs> offended the princess, and then you even, <laughs> you even took advantage of little Jia. Do you have to bring this up over and over again? What? No you says, Hey, didn't I tell you not to bring it up again? Oh no! She's trying to BL. No, I'm just joking. Not not she's just she's she's just taking out her let's see. Well, I'm happy to bring it up, and I'm gonna bring it up. What do you? What? Can, what are you gonna do about it? Let's see. You've already kissed anyway, and yet you don't dare. F <laughs> you already kissed, and yet you, <laughs> and yet you're not let allow me to talk about it. <laughs> Jiang Kongzi, that's strong. Yu Feng is here. Oh, you know says. Uh, Mr. Jiang, oh, that's the wall. The riding wind platform is over here. Hey, Xiao Jiang, I'm not that kind of person. You don't think I'm crazy? Oh, oh, they think he's trying to commit suicide. He's like, oh, I want to hit my head against the wall. Okay, so I need to give you guys a little bit of context. So in China, ancient China, and often the ways that um someone would commit suicide would be to ram their head hard against the wall so they would bleed from their head and like they would just die because i mean there was no medical technology to really deal with concussions contusions or like head injuries and so that was a common way to commit suicide so it sounds like he wrapped you there okay wait so shama said like oh little chan i didn't mean it like that you should please don't take your life i know there's like the um, so, and that's why she's saying, don't, like, no, you gotta, don't, <laughs> it's like, in Chinese, there's a word like, ni bie xiang bu kai, it just means like, no, don't think about things that will make you commit suicide, I know, it's kind of weird, it's like, it's imp it's implied when she say like, don't think about that stuff, so ni bie xiang bu kai, so it often means like, 
you hope that someone isn't thinking of suicide or isn't thinking of something so bad that they feel like they need to commit suicide. I know that's the implication. So it just means like, no, don't commit suicide. <laughs> Long Yo has no comment. So just thought I'd let you guys know why they're. The joke is that he rammed his head against the wall. The love gu. Is it really not possible to make it? Nothing. Turn around. Uh, there's a bun here. What is this bun doing here? After a few, the next day. Sorry, I almost said a few days. What am I thinking? Unifan says like. That's strange. How come Shaman still hasn't arrived yet? <laughs> Shaman says, Haha, isn't it cute? What is this creature? Long Yong says, What is this? Wow! I see, Shaman says... Oh, you thought she was the one that turned... No, no, I saw her walk away, so I'm like, oh... There's something coming out of that cauldron. Shaman says, I don't know either. This morning when I woke up, I found it kneeling by... <coughs> kneeling beside my pillow. Let's see. After I fed it some goo, which is that some poison, it's been fall. <coughs> it's been following me the whole time. Uh, Baidubuqing is a. Uh... What's the best way to translate this? I actually don't actually know what that means, but it really is like a hundred poisons. Not entering, but that's like, uh, no. Oh, well, anyway. Yeah, I don't actually know what that means. Uh, anyway, um... I know, for once I'm actually like, what do I, what does that mean? Okay, got it. Oh. So like, it, oh, it looks like it really does seem like it's not e so easily distract affected or distracted. I don't know, it's like, yeah, it just means like... It just means you're not easily influenced from outside influences. This is based on what I was just reading about that to you. Anyway, you know, it's like, oh, it looks like, it really looks like it's not gonna go leave at all. It's very focused. Nice cotton candy. Shaman says like, good boy, good boy. It just means it can't be poisoned. Oh, I see. In this case, it really is. It's they're jo they're using the idiom to actually describe the current situation. Okay, sorry. It's just like I think they're making a little. They're trying. He's Yun is trying to be clever. It's like wow. It looks like it really can't be poisoned. And Shaman says like, good. I don't know what the gender of this thing is. So good, <laughs> good, good. Let's see. Hmm, why don't I give you a name? How does cotton candy sound? Or like, I know, yeah, it's cotton candy. Shamas. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> you think it's a good name too, don't you? Ooh. 
神殿，我带路。Let's see. <coughs> Shama says, "I, all right, let's go. Let's go to the Sorceress Moon Shrine. I'll lead the way." There's a stupid side boss that looks just like this dumb bun. It took you two hours to defeat it. Oh my. Anyway, so we'll, Xiaoman will take over for the front. Uh, anyway, that's good because I did want to... I did want her to get more EXP because Yunfan is quite in the lead at the moment. PTSD, oh my god. Oh, you poor thing. It's a bun. Why are bun monsters so popular in this game? I don't quite know. Anyway, with... Uh, we need to go to Miaojiang first. This is Shu Mountain. And that's the hit, the Forbidden K. The Immortal Bamboo Forest. Remember that? The, the Ruins of the Lock Monster Tower. The Thunderstone route, route. Okay, we don't need to go to the Mountain Vila or the Thunderbolt Plains. Or Thunderbolt Wasteland. And this is the Demon Realm. Typhoon. Uh, no, no. Here it is. The Sorceress Moon Shrine. I was just looking at all the places. Oh, no more poison bees. Oh, no courage. You've been out. You've been replaced. Uh, do you really want to go to the Sorceress Moon Shrine? I do. Booyah. The Sorceress Moon Shrine. This, I guess, the this is the area surrounding it. So this is our first foray into a non-demon and non-Han Chinese uh, uh, area. A blue bunny emote, huh? Maybe we should make one for for our subscribers. I mean, like, I'm fortunate. I don't know if Morgana is really as popular as we'd like him to be. He's popular, in, popular, but our, we, in terms of subscribers, I don't see his emoticon very often. Ooh, this is a nice place. Things have certainly changed since the last time I was here. All right, here's Xiaoman. Maybe we'll see if we can get some new uh, equipment while we're here. Should the bun? <laughs> Should we make the bun the third tier? I mean, we could make more. We could put Morgana in the third tier because at this point, I have no idea who I want to put in the third tier. I mean, if you're gonna subscribe with that high of an amount, and I would be grateful, but I would, I even would feel kind of bad. Then that means you would be able to say game over. But I mean, like Morgana, game over is so rare. We don't game over that often because we're not playing platformers. So he might as well be a third tier. Anyway, Xiaoman says like, Waha! I'm back! I'm back! She seems like, oh no, you're like, oh my goodness, she's such a child. Don't worry, we all think she's a child. That's what we're all thinking here. And also she dresses weirdly, I don't understand her clothing choices. Yeah, we could make it a mode for disco, but I want to use it. Oh, that's what it smells like. Unify says, Oh, it smells so good. What smell is that? Oh. oh, wow, that's so cool. <sighs> uh, yeah, Tulaba is, uh, oh, how do I explain this? But I don't know. It just looks like, huh? <laughs> or like it's like being caught by it, or like saying like, haha, you're interested in, or like. Yeah, I actually don't know what tulaba is. Like, I don't usually. We don't usually use that. So I'm just like, what?
Yeah, I know, I'm not finding too much about it, but... Anyway, I know, like, are you unrefined? There you go, oh, I see. I was wondering, like, what does this mean? We don't use this. Okay, anyway. Pie tool, uh, that's why, maybe that's that one I've heard more of. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Xiao Man says, Tu Bao Zi, yeah, I finally figured it out. Xiao Man says, hey, hey, aren't you? Hey, <laughs> hey, oh, you, uh, oh, you're such a bumpkin. Let's see. That, <laughs> that's a flower that is specially grown. Let's see. That is the special product of this place. Let's see. I've heard that back then, when Lady Nui was revealed her, <laughs> revealed herself, the, like, like, back then when she revealed herself, these flowers grew when the, when the sky rained down a great amount of rain. Or, <laughs> when the sky, when a great amount of rain came down from the sky. Let's see. They, those flowers have been protecting the entire village this, all, this whole time. Lingers tears all. Sob. Oh, I see. I see. If we go <coughs> go straight ahead and turn right, it will be the shrine of the Sorceress Moon. I see. If Sifu agrees to it, we can go together to <coughs> to visit Lady Nuwa. I'm sure we'll be able to find <coughs> the Water Spirit Orb. Okay. All right, so our first, while, while Xiaoman ponders, uh, our first order of business is to, st I mean, um, uh, visit people. So this is a Miao village, so of course they're not dressed like the, uh, the Han people. So to emphasize, um, like, yeah, see, this is the traditional dress of the Miao people, but, um, in, uh, in China, there's actually quite a few ethnicities. Han is the most uh, common, which is like my ethnicity, and uh, most Chinese people in the. Uh, so let me think. I'm trying to. Let me see. Most Chinese people outside of China, but there are other ethnicities as well. Miao is one of them. If you want to know a more an even significant, more significant minority, it's the Manchurians, Manchu. They were the ones that ruled China for high, for two decades, I think. Yeah, 1600s. I know! Why didn't they make her look like a meow person? Like, seriously? Why do you have to go the fan service route? It doesn't make any sense. I know, it, it, it really bothers me today. Because, like, oh, I mean, it would, never be a, it would never be allowed in ancient China. That would get you in huge amounts of trouble. Because that would be, like, the equivalent of public indecency. It might tarnish your ability to get married because they'll call you a whore. But um, no, I'm and I'm not even joking either. It's not because I'm trying to be cruel. It's just like that's a real problem. Okay. No, I want to go back in. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, is there anything I really care about here? Not really. I mean, these, um... Maybe I can buy some of these? I don't know. I want to wait till I get to equipment first, so I don't want to buy any of these at the moment. She's always, like, looking so confused. Her idle animation is so weird. Blacksmith is over here, so I need to get this way. Huh? Oh yes, you have the secret weapons here in Miaojia. Okay, so um, I probably want to buy... Oh, she already has this, cool. Uh, I want to buy the spear, because I don't already have it. 